Hi everyone, Ricky here from Tech Talk. Today we have a new video. It's been a while since there's been a video up on the channel. I do apologize for that. But today we have the new Sony Xperia XZ. Massive thank you to Vodafone for sending me this. First of all, before I begin, any videos you'd like to see, please leave a comment down below as soon as possible, as I only do get these for roughly about 12 days. So as soon as I get a comment, I can start preparing and making a video for you. But today I wanna to go through the setup and unboxing of the Sony Xperia XZ. So first of all, let's have a look around the box, get into it and then set up the new device. So first of all, on the front here, you've got the Xperia logo and the brand of Sony. I just turn around up to the top here. You've got some retail information. Go around to the bottom, you actually got the name of the device as well. The left and the right hand side do not show anything, so there's no point actually going on about that. On the back, we do have some specs, so let me go through them now for you. First of all, we have a 23 megapixel rear facing camera, a 13 megapixel front facing camera for selfies. So I'm gonna test that out and get some great selfie shots. We've got 5.2 full HD display for this device, a USB-C connection for charging and syncing, Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 processor, 2900 milliamp hour battery, 32 gigabytes of onboard storage and an SD card that's available there to actually increase your storage. Three gigabytes of RAM, I've added that in, it's not actually on the back here, but you do get three gigabytes of RAM. And it's running the latest Android software as well. It's not actually running Android 7, but it is running Android 6. Okay, so let's move in to our unboxing. So first of all, lift the lid off. It's just gonna sort of stick in there. So I'm just gonna sit that to the side. Next, we can see our device here. So what I'm gonna do is just gently roll that out and sit that to the down here on the side. So you can see a little book under here. So pull off this tab, actually pull this out. So inside here, you'll find your startup guide and pre-installed information on the software. Next is your UK three pin plug with that pop-up third pin. So please be careful that third pin as it can break quite easily. Also, you will get some headphones in here. I didn't receive any with mine, but you will get some in your new Sony Xperia XZ. So please bear that in mind. Then underneath, finally, just under here, is your USB-C charger and connection for charging and data syncing as well. So let's move this all to the side and get on with the setup process. Okay, so first of all, we get that nice satisfying rip of pulling these off. So you've got one on the front, one on the back. So on the back there, it shows you how to insert your SIM card and SD card, which I'll go through as well for you. So on the back, that looks absolutely lovely. It looks really nice. around to the front. Okay, so let's get into the startup process. So first of all, it says welcome and please select your language. English is already pre-selected for us, so we can hit next. Important information and some agreements that you have to agree to before using the phone. So we're gonna hit next, so we agree to these. Your Wi-Fi and selecting your Wi-Fi, I'd already pre-done that. So this will be the area where you'd back up from a previous device and you can do that via NFC or do it via the cable. So you can back up your information from an older Android device or iPhone as well, it could be moved over and you can put it on your brand new device here. So I'm gonna say no thank you at the moment. Our next section is to add a Google account or create a Google account. You will need this for the Play Store so you can download all your apps, movies, games, TV shows, and books. So please bear in mind that you will need one here and we'll need a payment method as well, PayPal, or a bank card will be required. So you can skip and it's gonna say, why do you want to skip? But we can still skip for the moment. Next is a name for your device. So it's always good to name your device as also when you're trying to locate it, or maybe when you're using Bluetooth, trying to connect to your device, you're gonna find it straight away if you give it a name. So you can protect your device in multiple different ways with this device. So luckily it has a fingerprint sensor, or you can use a pin, pattern, or password. At the moment, I'm gonna say nothing, as it is always staying with me. Next, it's gonna say, are you sure? I am sure, because it's always just gonna be indoors at the moment. Our next option is Google services and agreements that we have to agree to here. So we'll go more, 
and then we can agree. Next option is about Sony Xperia and the services they provide. You can sign in and use these if you so wish. We're not going to at the moment. Then you're done. We're all ready to go. So let's hit done and it will load us up our home screen for us here and we're gonna jump into more settings and understanding the device in future videos. It's gonna be a review, accessibility settings that I always do. Any videos you guys would love to see, please let me know. Um, also can do some gaming. Everyone loves seeing gaming on these brand new phones. This was only released in October of this year, so quite a brand new phone. A massive thank you to Vodafone. Please hit that like button as it does help get me these new phones at the latest dates. Also, please subscribe to the channel. We're always growing and I've got a big surprise for when we get 4,000 subs. So we're about 500 off, but there is a nice big giveaway. So please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in my next video.